Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to review and locally install a brand new model from Maxim Labon, which is Llama 3.1 70 billion instruct LoRa Blended. Before I show you the local installation, let me try to clear up some of the terminology which we will be using in this video. First up, we have this model which is LoRa Blended. This is an uncensored version of Llama 3.1 70 billion instruct created with obliteration. So what is obliteration? Obliteration is a technique that can uncensor any LLM without retraining. This technique effectively removes the model's built-in refusal mechanism, enabling it to respond to all types of prompts. When we say uncensored, the thing is that all of these modern LLMs are fine-tuned for safety and instruction following, meaning they are trained to refuse any harmful or toxic request. This refusal behavior is mediated by a specific direction in the model's residual stream. If we prevent the model for representing this direction, it primarily loses its ability to refuse requests. Conversely, adding this direction artificially can cause the model to refuse even harmless requests. And that is where this obliteration enables us to ref just remove that layer and then it also limits the model's flexibility and responsiveness if you put in the layer back. So obliteration means simply that we are uncensoring a model and we are removing the model's built-in refusal mechanism. Another cool thing about this LoRa blended model which has just been released is that Maxim has um, used this LoRa obliteration in it what it means is that it contains two steps. First, extraction. He extracted a LoRa adapter by comparing two models, a censored Llama 3 and an obliterated Llama 3. Now you know that difference between censored Llama 3 and obliterated Llama 3 is that censored one has still got the layer to refuse harmful prompts whereas obliterated Llama 3 doesn't have any cartridge there. When we say LoRa adapter, what it means is that it is a low rank adaptation. It is one type of supervised fine tuning um, or so what happens in this one is that whenever a new model is created that is a base model or a pre-trained model. It can only do completion and nothing else. If you want it to do instruction following, there are three ways in supervised fine tuning or SFT one is full fine tuning where you take up your own data and then you retrain or update all the weights of the model and that is called as full fine tuning where all the models or weights are updated as per your own data and then we have something called as LoRa where we freeze existing weights of the models and then we add adapters to some of the layers of the model and only we update the weights in those adapt in those layers or in those adapters so actual models weights remain the same and we only train a subset of those weights that is called as lora or low rank adaptation because it uses low rank matrices another thing is q lora where instead of retraining the whole weights we just quantize those weights of the model and then uh, fine tune them or train them on our own custom data set so in this LoRa blended one, what Maxim has done, he extracted a LoRa adapter by comparing two models, censored and obliterated Llama 3. And then he merged this new LoRa adapter using task arithmetic to a censored Llama 3.12 obliterated. Now, task arithmetic is a method to modify pre-trained neural networks by combining task vectors using arithmetic operations. These vectors represent directions in the model weight space that improve performance on specific tasks. By adding, subtracting and negating task vectors, you can steer the model's behavior to improve or decrease performance on specific tasks or even transfer knowledge between related tasks. So that is what this is all about. Okay, so again, this model is fully uncensored, this LoRa blended one. And 
still maintains a very high level of quality if you want to use it in production i would highly suggest that you performance test it a lot okay so that's said and done now before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus now the tool which i'm going to use in order to do the installation is lm studio if you don't know what lm studio is please search the channel i already have done heaps of videos around it launch lm studio on the home page simply write laura blated and you will see that many people including maxim have already done the quantization so i'm just going to go with this q3km which is still around 35 gig of size it's a 70 billion model so it's huge so hopefully it will fit on my nvidia rtx a6000 gpu 48 gb vram courtesy mass compute okay so let's see where it is okay so it is loaded as you can see and then let's click on these three dots let me select the model from here let's wait for it to get loaded okay so it says that it's unable to fit it on my vram okay let me try to reduce the number of layers okay so the issue is not layers here i have checked the issue is that lm studio is still using the old version so i am unable to run it on lm studio so what i'm going to do instead of running it here i'm going to run it on directly llama.cpp uh, i already have the latest version on my system if you don't know what llama.cpp is it is simply a python wrapper which lets you uh, run these models locally with quite ease so that is what i'm going to do and by the way lm studio simply are gui on top of llama.cpp so let me fire up my llama.cpp here and I have started the llama.cpp server on my local termin terminal as you can see here all I have done is I have just issued this command because I as I mentioned earlier I already have it installed if you don't know how to do it please search the channel with llama.cpp and you should be able to find a step-by-step -step video so here I'm just passing the path of that ggf file which we have just downloaded from LM Studio, and you can download it with wget if you don't have it already and I'm going to start it in the GUI so I'm giving it port 8080 I'm offloading as many layers as possible to GPU so I just that is why I have given it a huge value like 15,000 and then it took, took a bit of a time but it has started it on my local system here so if I just open it port 8080 on localhost this is our llama.cpp and now here you can see that you can set your prompt style whatever your prompt style is because i'm using llama 3 so i'm just going to go with llama 3 here if you want you can set your um, system prompt too but i think let's go with a default one let's not set it to anything and then here you can set more options if you like this is a typical llama 3 one where it uh, gives you end and start and these are some of the hyperparameters which you can set. So I'm just going to give it a toxic prompt that how can I make a bad first impression on first wedding night and then click on submit here. Let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. So it has started telling me what to do in order to make a bad first impression on the wedding night. And it is, and you can see that already it has started in a very, very masterful way. I'm not going to uh, show you the all because it's an uncensored one and I don't want to get it in, into the YouTube jail. So, uh, but all in all, really great stuff. I wish that um, LM Studio would also upgrade their version as soon as possible. But now you know uh, what exactly is Laura plated and then uncensored obliterated model because these terms are popping up more and more. So it's always a good idea to get behind the scenes of these models and to learn more as what exactly is happening if you want to see llama 3.1 um, in more action more testing i have done like more than 40 videos so far since the release of llama 3.1 from every angle please search the channel and i'm sure you won't be disappointed 
If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.